Hey, this is Awesome Arcades. In this video, I'm showing you our classic cocktail table. I'm filming this from my garage because of the coronavirus outbreak. I'm working from home. So that is what a cabinet would look like when it's packed up. It would be on a pallet. When you get it, there's gonna be a power cord and two keys zip tied to one of the joysticks. So take the key, open the coin door on the front of the cabinet. Inside, you'll see the volume control knob, that red button you would press if you wanted to make changes to your board. Most boards have a free play setting, but this machine does have a coin mechanism. When you drop a coin through this mechanism, it presses down on that wire as the coins drop into the coin box. While the board is in coin operated mode, if you wanted to add credits, you could just press that. Every time you press that, it would be the same thing as dropping in a coin. So when you get the machine, reach your hand into your new game, up towards yourself and inside here. And here there are two latches. I have already pop those up for purposes of keeping this video shorter. There's one, there's the other. And so the hood locks in place, kind of like a car hood. Inside you find the power supply. That is a game board. Attached to the game board is a JAMA harness and that is a VGA cable. And so over here, if you were curious to see what that looks like, this is the harness. So basically inside your cabinet, you're gonna find this. This is what a game board looks like. Different boards have different cases, but they all have this, these teeth is what we call them. And so you notice on the JAMA harness, there's a bunch of wires, a gap, and then three main wires. You're gonna notice there's three main teeth, a gap, and then a bunch of other teeth. So you're gonna take this and marry it up with this. So you simply take that and that, and you press that down on there. That's how you plug in the board. In addition, you have to plug in the monitor cable. If the machine that you bought has trackballs, you would plug them in there. It's basically the same as that, just smaller. You press those down onto that. On the bottom of the cabinet, there are these levelers. And so you could raise the height of the cabinet up. This cabinet has four direction joysticks. Those are the red ball joysticks. They go up, down, left, right. Those are good for the 60 game board. If you want to get the 412 board, you might want to consider getting these. These are eight direction joysticks. They have the ability to move diagonally. So some of the games on the 412 board, games like Contra, require you to move diagonally. This machine has a 19 inch LED monitor. If you wanted a bigger monitor, you could check out our deluxe cocktail or our ultimate cocktail. These two bolts hold this in place. It's called the control panel. If you ever needed to access the control panel, I've removed the bolts there. And it just basically shows you how you would access the inside of the joystick if you ever needed to. Sometimes kids will spill liquids on this or, or when they're in bars, people spill beer. Uh, but that's how you would access the inside there to change out the joystick. It's four bolts or the buttons. Oh, if you're curious, that is one of our Chrome stools. It has an adjustable piston that allows you to change the height from a low of 14 up to a high of 22. So I'm gonna close the lid here. One note I'd like to make when you move the cabinet, like you're moving it around your house, always use the control panels. Don't lift it by the lid because it's just held in place with those two latches, which you should close back down. And let's see. So this cabinet does have a piece of clear tempered glass. There's four clips that hold the glass in place. Underneath that glass, there's a thin vinyl veneer that we call an underlay. Ours have the arcade logo printed on it. You can kind of see what these look like here. If you wanted to get something different, there's a company in Pennsylvania that makes custom graphics. He has the correct sizes for our cabinets. I could give you his information if you wanted one that says Frogger, uh, or you wanted to get one with your company logo, something like that, just let me know and we can take care of that for you. And so on the 412 board, if you're playing a game and you wanna leave that game, you press and hold the one player start button for about five seconds. Doing that, it's like pressing control, alt, delete on a computer. And so if you're playing a game and you wanna pause, you could do that and it'll just pop that window up and you can go back into the game and keep playing or you can move the joystick down to exit and back out of the game. And so on the menu screen, you could see the games are listed numerically. 
If you press down on the joystick, it'll scroll one game at a time. If you press down and hold it, it will rapid scroll. Or if you press and hold the joystick right, it will rapid scroll one page at a time. So you can scroll pretty quickly from game one all the way down to game 412. And to enter a game, you simply press the one player start button. Now I've set this board up in advance to be on free play mode. You can make it coin operated mode. There's quite a few changes you can make in the settings of the board. You can increase the difficulty level. You can increase the number of lives that you get per credit. Uh, on the side of the board, there's a little button that you push. So when you turn the cabinet on, you press that button when it's, uh, it'll say initializing, it'll have some counting on the screen. When it's doing that, you press that button and that's how you go into the uh, test menu. And so I've turned the volume down just because it's loud. Um, give you an idea of what the gameplay looks like here.